Hey, thanks so much for tuning in. My name is Emilio. In this video, we're gonna be talking about hosting. Specifically, we're gonna be contrasting shared hosting versus reseller hosting. Similarities, but they're also quite different. And one is like the big brother of the other one. Hey, as always, remember to click on that subscription button. That way you don't miss out on any of our video releases. Clicking on that bell lets you know when we do actually release those videos. And hey, at the end of the video, if you found it helpful, also leave us a comment as well. All right, let's now talk about each of the two. The first is your shared hosting. Think about this. Think, think that you live in a big shared house. You've got a house, lots of people lots of roommates, right? It all looks really, really good. It's affordable, it's cozy, but everyone's using the same kitchen. They're all using the same bathroom. You're sharing all your amenities, you're sharing all of your food, you're sharing all that sort of stuff. And it can get a little bit cramped, right? Because you're sharing of your resources in one single spot. Contrasting that to your reseller hosting. Well, this is now where we get bigger, right? Shared hosting, maybe just for a single website, then you move into the bigger, and this is where the reseller hosting comes in, and now you're essentially like a landlord. You're now renting out rooms, right? You're the one who's owning this whole house and you're dishing rooms out, or you own multiple houses and then you just provide the services to multiple people. You are now the one who has your own space, you have the keys, you have the ability to create all these little mini apartments, your clients, multiple websites in completely different environments. So in this scenario, I've got my WHM, which is my almost like my reseller account. And then I've got my multiple domains in each of these. Like I've got digitalbytetech.org and I've got a few others. And you notice that each of these have their own cPanel, their own IP address, and I set my own username, contact details, all of that for each of those. And then I can go and provide these domains one by one to each of my customers, for example. And then they themselves have access to their specific domain, their specific cPanel, and can manage it all on their own, while the WHM sort of sits one layer above the cPanel component. So this makes it really, really easy to be able to manage multiple accounts from the one spot. You can easily create new accounts and there's a whole bunch of settings. You can set up packages, almost like predetermined configurations and templates. It just makes the process so much easier when you're managing it through the reseller option as opposed to the shared option when we're looking at individual domains in a cPanel environment. What you can do as the reseller is you can now provide full shared hosting environments to your clients. So they then manage their own environment, their own small business, their own website, or maybe a few websites in their space. You can give another one to another customer. They can do their space. So now you are managing all of these smaller shared accounts across a bigger reseller account. I mean, if you are a reseller, if you are wanting to resell multiple websites, and of course the reseller option is the way to go because then you can have full flexibility. I use that scenario at the very, very start where you are now renting out different spaces, different houses, different apartments, server set up, their own CPU, RAM that they can dish out, their own environment, completely isolated from the other shared ones. But then you as the reseller, you have control over all of them. So hopefully that helps you out and hopefully you now have a little bit of a better understanding between the two. Let us know down below in the comments what you thought and whether this video helped you out. And as always, click on that subscription button, click on the bell so that you don't miss out on any of our video releases. We'll see you on the next video.